What's going on, everybody? So as you've probably heard already, Boston Lloyd has passed away. He wasn't even 30 years old. Now, a lot of videos online are going to go into what Boston did wrong or why he's in this situation. Look, I've known a lot of people whose lives have ended well before they should have. Boston loved his family, has a very young child, very beautiful wife, and a very good support system. And for me, Boston has always been extremely supportive, and he's always been a friend. And I just want to say, you know, a lot of people misunderstand Boston. His online persona um, was very brash, very in-your-face. Boston was extremely honest about what he did. He didn't over-exaggerate or under-exaggerate. He told people exactly how he felt. And if you were ever on the harsh end or the negative end of Boston's rants, you know, it wasn't a good place to be. It wasn't a good place to be at all. But as someone who has actually spent time with Boston, actually had our families go out and hang out together outside of this crazy industry, outside of expos, and actually get down and talk to him, break bread. Look, Boston, he was always a great guy. You know, the nicest guy, very respectful, and really loved the sport. He loved the chemistry side of it. He loved getting as big as possible. And while that's not my cup of tea necessarily, you know, I think that when people pass away, what we can do is we can look at one, celebrate their life and what joy they brought to many people, how they help people, and then look at what we can learn from that life. One thing I did learn is Boston did what he loved. And while he died at a very young age, a very young age, he did something he loved and he enjoyed every second of his life. And his legacy will be carried on by his child. And that's a beautiful thing. But we also got to learn that, look, with everything you do in life comes risk. And Boston took a lot of risks. And he made that decision. And he acknowledges that he made that decision. But what we can do is look at the risks he took and say, are those risks right for me? Because life is fragile. As we've seen the last couple of years, not just in our industry, but in the world, tragedy happens, right? We've lost John. We've lost Rich. We've lost Sean. It's been a hard, hard, hard couple of years for the fitness industry. But what we need to do is we need to look at these guys, the contributions they made to this industry, and also take from them perhaps the mistakes they made and how we can avoid making those mistakes to help our lives be longer and even better than these guys. Look, these guys are awesome. All the guys I just mentioned, they gave so much to the community. And look, it hit me. When I saw the first post about Boston passing away, I was about to head to the gym and I was going to the bathroom and I just stopped. Before I walked in the bathroom and I'm like, oh my goodness. My wife's like, what happened? I'm like, Boston passed away. So I want to send my condolences to his family. And for those of you who are thinking of getting involved in some clickbait or dragging a man's name, now's not the time. Look, we all make decisions. We all make choices. Boston lived his life. And unfortunately, it ended way too soon. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to end it right there. Um, again, all I'm going to ask, again, there's going to be no marketing in this video because that's cheesy. I've actually done that before. I accidentally did that before where I just put it in a template and I'm like, oh my goodness, people are mad at me and they should be. If you have an opportunity to say a prayer for Boston and his family, I'd appreciate you do so. Take care. And oh, another thing. Go hug somebody today. Life is so short, guys. I mean, I just realized this the other day. Like, I have a daughter who's 16 years old, and you never know when your time's gonna come. And life is fragile. You know, just one day, Boston's in the gym. Even just before this happened, Boston was at the gym, from the reports I've read. And then you're not here anymore. And not only does your life cease to exist on this earth, but your family, your friends, and everybody who knows you has to move on without you. And that's hard. And that's difficult. And we're all faced 
with our mortality every single day. We literally had a pandemic spread across the world. And while thank goodness it wasn't as um, mortal as we thought it would be, it, it gave us perspective. At any moment, it could be our time. We get hit by a car. We can have a heart attack. We can have an aneurysm. We can get a virus that is uncurable, that takes us. And the thing I like to do now is I don't harbor anger. I don't harbor hate in my body. What I do is I appreciate every second I'm alive and I make sure to tell people how I feel, that I love them. I make sure to leave nothing on the table. This is a good moment to understand that life is fragile. We have all these wars going on and people fighting over this and fighting over that and left and right and this and that. And at the end of the day, we have a finite timeline on earth. If we're lucky, it's 100 years. If we're lucky, it's 90 years, maybe 80, maybe 70, maybe less. These guys are dying at way less than that. Your life is fleeting. Life in and of itself is literally a terminal disease. You're born and you're always in the process of dying because one day you will die. That is literally a terminal disease. So we go through life and we do things we hate. We do jobs we hate. We, we, we talk to people we don't like and we treat them disrespectful. They treat us disrespectful. We insult people. You notice I don't get involved in YouTube dramas anymore. I ain't got time for that. That's why I put all my time into coaching kids and helping develop the next generation. You need to give to charity. You need to enjoy your life. You need to hug, kiss, love your loved ones. Don't waste another second. Don't walk down in your house. Don't be afraid to go out. Don't be afraid to shake hands. Don't be afraid to get out and live your best life because you never know when it'll end. Appreciate everybody. And um, this, all this stuff hits me hard. But I gotta be honest. I was as close or closer to Boston as a lot of these guys, but it's happened so often that it's almost like you wake up expecting this. Generation Iron, God bless them for picking up my low blind or low down channel. That was very appreciated. Generation Iron has literally looked like an obituary for the past few months. Every time Jen Iron talks about someone, I think they died. It's a sad day. Say some prayers for Boston and his family. Love y'all. I mean it. I mean it, guys. I love you guys.